refresh as soon as we get the confirmation and there we are nice 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 hi everyone this is Chicho. welcome to another live stream the man i just spent how are you doing and today is drop-in math tutoring session number uh eight for the two for 2020 really hey dragons how are you guys doing everyone's in a holding pattern I, I, um, I, I, I get here a little early so I'm always anxious just to go start <laughs> I have to wait until the time kicks in if you were here early sometimes I sit there and go test make sure the chat is still working or whatnot uh, welcome welcome everyone uh, we're doing another math stream awesome awesome uh, love doing these uh, it's fantastic and love making myself available uh, for these things uh, because I think it's important I think it's very important uh, aside from that our intro I'm on patreon uh, if you want to follow this work patreon is a fantastic place to follow this work It's a great way to support this project you can also just follow this work without contributing any funds because I don't put anything behind a paywall every post that I make is available to the public uh, so you can follow this work and if you like what you see and if you can afford it then it's a great way to support this project if you're not committed to it right away we are live streaming on twitch so if you want to follow the live streams as they're happening twitch is where it's at and the chat that you see happening here those that's the chat that appears the discussion that's taking place on twitch and subscribing through twitch or following through Twi twitch is a great way to support this project as well okay uh we do announce these live streams 30 minutes beforehand on twitter gabs minds vk and elo and those are the sort of the announcement platforms that i'm active on right now maybe we'll add more later in the future as we decentralize as the sensors kick in and we can't talk about certain things on different places so it's becoming sort of important if you want to follow someone's um, work that they're sharing the content that they're creating it's pretty important actually to follow them on multiple platforms now because sensors are preventing certain people from sharing certain types of information on certain platforms for example youtube there are certain things that we no longer can share on youtube uh, and that's become clear and clear as the last few years but it's really kicking into high gear um, in the last few months i guess uh, for example the we have six streams planned for the next six days the last two there's no way we're going to load them on BitChute. uh there's no way we're going to load them on youtube because we'll just get knocked off right they will be available on BitChute as long as there's no technical difficulties but uh, the COVID discussion can no longer go on youtube okay and uh we're getting towards the end of recommended quarantines lockdowns however be aware uh, if you don't know what's happening and no one really knows what's happening uh, be kind and uh, respect other people and if you're in an area where your healthcare system has been overwhelmed or a wave has already come through and you think you're in the clear realize that waves come and go so be aware of what's taking place aside from that welcome everyone uh, to another math live stream mask of raven how are you doing i didn't know this was happening today wow oh you didn't know mask of raven yeah i announced it on uh, discord and uh, patreon uh, saucy rossi Kicho. i hope it's a good surprise mask of raven for a sunday what better day to do mathematics than a sunday right actually every day is a great day to do mathematics that shirt blends well with you. It looks like Chicho Camouflage. <laughs> I've had this shirt for a long time. 20 plus years, right? 20 plus years. Oh, wow. To be uh, double digits years uh, old again. Double digits. Hey, Chicho. Oh, it's my birthday. I just turned 20. Uh, Holden Hoos, how are you doing? Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday. And that's what uh, Smith is referring to. 20 you're no longer a teenager oh my god oh my god always be making how are you doing 
yeah it's exciting for sure afternoon good sir hello king how are you doing felix how's life itchy cho happy i finally managed to catch a live stream awesome this is, is this your first felix you're uh, pretty active on youtube so i thought you you were here before did you hit triple digits triple digits i know right? <laughs> what's his name uh the, the, or her name smith was saying double digits i think smith you meant the 20s right most likely i went to high school with the sun hello liquid swords how are you doing awesome awesome with <laughs> your Egyptian god <laughs> going into the hundreds hundreds of years and that's a possibility right some people say that is uh, some people have you know average lifespan might have been higher who knows right some people say no we don't know human history is uh, there's a lot of blanks in it right all in the dirt I sleep in older than the dirt you sleep in well i'm not sure if the house you sleep in if your house is less than 20 years old yeah why not i've been a i've been on a lot of live streams but recently my twitch notifications haven't been coming through luckily it did today oh, awesome felix yeah i was like wait a second you, you have been here before a few times yeah the twitch notifications they, they have hiccups um, and then discord i think is supposed to send out notifications as well if it's turned on uh, but that sometimes has hiccups there's major technical difficulties all over the place the bible lists people <laughs> being alive for like hundreds of years yeah i know uh during my uh time that i looked into this stuff some people take the bible literally which is ten thousand years or whatever and then they extrapolated out the generations and they say oh there's this many generations so human beings used to live this long and stuff like this fun game and angered how are you doing thank you very much for the twitch prime sub uh blingineer are you familiar with dnn deep neural network um a hobby i've i've looked into it blink blingineer i don't know the technical workings of it um it, it just i looked at it as a hobby and it it interests me greatly but you have to make the time available to research something uh, right so i just like the whole concept of quantum computing and stuff and where we're going with transhumanism artificial intelligence and uh what's what's the other word uh, the oh there's another word that's used uh, uh, the point it's something point uh, i got discord and twitch notifications on awesome mikhail how are you doing greetings and angered lonely piggy how's life how's the east coast or central canada i guess no east coast we call it the ontario east coast really chicho hope you're doing well brother beautiful day here in montreal helps uh, uh keeps the uh, spirits high with the current situation for sure the sun shining is a good thing catholic traditionalist good afternoon good afternoon hope you're all having a blessed sunday indeed indeed spider-man hello hello the queen of england is 94 and doesn't seem to uh, be <laughs> go away anytime soon yeah the monarchy uh, i wonder how many well that's politics we won't get into that maybe we'll get into it another day all right afternoon all i'm excited i'll be lurking because i'm working right now work away spider-man we'll be here ross the singularity yes always be making thank you very much the singularity i always associate it with the black hole for some reason the singularity right elder god is in the house <laughs> how are you doing gino singularity thank you gino thank you zero point yeah and i and i mix it up between what i because i think that to a certain degree they're all related uh zero point energy singularity black holes right and elementary particles right they're all sort of spanning the possibilities of what existence what reality could be right which is to me it's fascinating as right 
and link it up all to string theory, vibrating strings of energy that you can manipulate. Man, that's candy. Like, really, that's, that's candy for the brain, right? Zero point. No cooking Sunday. No cooking today. I, I don't have a cooking stream set up this round, but most likely we will next round. I'm going to start off, by the way, for the cooking stuff, I'm going to be most likely starting off doing preserves pretty early on because this summer we're going to use, we're going to create a space for us and I might build some shelves to make a pantry space for us <laughs> to start preserving some food for the fall of 2020. We'll see what comes, right? The monarchy freaked me out. The whole thing with Prince Andrew being involved with Epstein cult is scary. Yeah. And uh, Seville, who was that BBC? Uh, oh, we're getting into politics. Can't get into politics. That stuff is dark, dark. Elder God, how difficult is it to change your Tush name? I don't want to be always be making anymore. I, I want to use my uh, use my name. Oh, I don't think it's that difficult. Always be making. I think you get uh, uh, one a month or something. You can change it. The center of a black hole is the event horizon. Uh, not the center. The event horizon is the boundary, Gina. Right? The center of the black hole is the black hole. Is the matter condensed so much that gravity is... Uh, that's where the mass is, right? But the event horizon is the boundary where light cannot escape anymore. So if you cross the event horizon, boop! light also gets trapped within the gravitational force of the center of the black hole right very simple to show the singularity and the black hole are related because they represent practical uh, practical asymptotes well said always been making right and zero point energy zero point energy i looked into this a long time ago and it was uh, elder god thank you very much i i make the mistake of bringing up politics for some reason for some reason for some reason right uh so it is jimmy seville child molester yeah i'm allowing that because that is 100 legit right uh Ch chicho so felix presents the name of the person i was thinking about which worked for the bbc quote uh chicho I think you might have been thinking of Jimmy Saville, a notorious child molester, but I'll save that conversation for the next politics stream. Yes, but since we brought it up, it's good to know. And it is a person that uh, everyone at the BBC in the top levels knew what he was doing, as well as the technocrats, oligarchs, the monarchy. They knew exactly what he was doing, and they hid it for 30 years. All right? look into it you probably don't know it but you are my best friend <laughs> thanks so thank you very much for the love really johnny rotten calls the veal out decades ago yeah yeah johnny rotten is uh, sex pistols no it must be unless i'm my mind is going slowly right uh, i have so many channel points do you have plans for those plans for those Ch -ch -ch channel points i don't know what the channel points are sex pistols yeah and really straight up amazing human being johnny rotten right now nah, i don't want to think about js either he was a this grunting man he was seen as a philanthropist as you would donate money to child's hospitals and you can imagine how you took advantage yeah yes john uh linden johnny rotten was the lead singer of the sex pistols yeah at the time when the sex pistols were out i wasn't really into them too much it was after the fact when i understood the politics of it right i was into the clash uh more right mathematic stream gang this is our intro for 15 minutes talking of random talks <laughs> And this is open discussion, so we can stay on whatever. But yeah, I'm surprised. Tell you the truth, I'm surprised. There aren't more people popping up. Uh, I know Always Be Making uh, has commented this on Discord as well, right? Do you have any thoughts on the Chronicles of uh, Thomas 
covenant i don't know that i don't know what that is uh, always be making uh but always be making has has does uh physics uh education streams as well uh, but i'm surprised there aren't more kids parents seeking out outside of the centralized education system to provide education for their kids or kids wanting to learn make sure they're not falling behind that's problematic right chicho long time lurker the rippers ripper Z zk how do you pronounce that z zc the ripper the ripper how are you doing long time lurker by way of all of the comic book videos also first time catching you live nice nice glad to have you right thank you for all uh, that you've done and continue to do as a professional wrestler and writer i find myself on the road a lot and your videos relax me and make me feel at home oh awesome man you professional wrestler fantastic have you read the um andre the giant there's two of them graphic novels i've read one of them it was amazing amazing right oh man you guys you guys put the leg work in the the time the effort the energy your bodies your heart and soul into what you do i didn't have an appreciation for it when i was younger i did to a certain degree but not as much as i do now i really uh because i'm older and wiser right do you listen to punk do i listen to punk i did in the back uh, back in the day uh, the clash mainly uh doa i listened to some doa i listened to some thrash metal and stuff like this i like the energy more right but i was i like lyrics right and uh, uh it's very hard to understand the lyrics especially for the sex pistols right i remember johnny rotten doing an interview i watched of him where you know he was talking to fans and stuff and you know they were talking about his music and they said oh we love your music you love music but he was into the lyrics huge his lyrics have deep meaning right and he would say oh what do you think about the lyrics and some of his fans were like oh we can't understand them but we <laughs> love the energy and he's like oh i was a little disappointed and i think after that he started um making his lyrics more uh understandable if I remember correctly, I watched this a long time ago. Uh, read anything, Stephen uh, Dawson. I'm gonna skip some of that stuff. Material. Uh, hey, in your how to study, you say that 15 minutes are right off. Uh, Mask of Raven. To a certain degree, if you're doing review before you write a test, 15 minutes are right off. Oh, oh, or no, sorry, the other way around. Are good. If you're trying to understand the concept you can't really do 15 minute study sessions and then unless it's one specific thought connection that is taking you from here to here and you're having a hard time digesting that then you can constantly look at that 15 minutes walk away and think about it and if it doesn't make sense again come and look at it look at the one before look at one. but in general it's a write-off as far as i see it mask of raven uh, I'll send you a message next time. Pa, 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 pa. I love wrestling. Always be making says. Uh, Silb, Chicho, did you watch Monster Monster the anime or read the manga Monster Monster Monster? I can't remember an anime about children. Uh, twin experiments back in Nazi. Oh no, I haven't seen that. Old but gold, Nazi Germany. Old but gold. I lost some hair watching it. No, I've never seen it. Uh, Silb, if you're in Discord, please post this on uh, on our anime folder. Uh, that way I can check it out. Dead Kennedys was my favorite. Oh, yeah, Dead Kennedys too. Favorite for a long time. Great band. Uh, Jello uh, Biafaro. I, I always brutalize his name. Is also very active politically. Very active politically. I have huge respect for him. Even though I disagree with some of his st stuff. His stance on things. Uh the ripper yes the andre giant novel as well as the andy oh the andy kaufman one i've read too so damn good kaufman books were fantastic yes professional wrestler laugh out loud zach the zach the ripper connor you can 
uh, call me whatever you like. Ripper works. Zach the Ripper Connor. Okay, I gotta look this up, gang. I'm going. I'm doing a little search on this. <laughs> I hope you guys are as well. Zach the Ripper Connor. We're looking this up, man. We're looking this up. Zap the Ricker Connor. Hey, come on. We got. We need picks. We need picks. Oh, 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 wait a second. Which one? Oh, I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff. Are you the bearded guy? Do you have a beard? Oh, I'm getting a bunch of stuff on. Uh... Oh no, you're a young guy. Are you the young guy? Wait a second. Now nah, I gotta scroll down all the way to the bottom to read the uh, Zach the Rippers. Conrad, Zach the Ripper Connors. No, you're the big guy. Big guy with metal hair. You must be. <laughs> I'm gonna scroll down, gang. Where is Zach the Ripper? Zach the Ripper. Quarantine version of that. Rush is great. Rush is great. Greatest drummer of all time. Neil Peart. That can is oh I'm almost to the end anyway that's good. Da, da, da. To be fair, you can understand the lyrics and ninety percent of the music. Yeah, you do have to loop it though. You can't hit it. You can't catch the lyrics uh, for the Sex Pistols on the first go. Really, not for a lot of the punk uh, and some of the rapid hip hop as well. Like uh, like a few of them anyway. Listen to Metallica and Justice for All album. Amazing energy and lyrics. Did you hear their quarantine version of Blackened? Fantastic. I'm not a fan of most metal, but I love Rush. Yeah, Felix. Rush, Rush, Rush. I've been young and old. Laugh out loud. I'm 35 years old. Been wrestling since I was 18. Wow. I've had long hair, bald, clean cut, beard. Are you heavy set? I saw the one with the heavy set while wow, wrestler i saw one young guy with a lot of muscle they can't be a wrestler you don't have the bulk to do it right uh, so i'm assuming you're the heavy set dude right <laughs> awesome brother awesome yeah i'm looking at some of your pics awesome man awesome fun stuff fun stuff not too much mathematics going on eh I find the same with most songs. You have to listen a few times before you understand the lyrics. Yeah. Pro wrestling, uh, wrestling is art, says I. Yeah, I agree, I'll always be making. And lyrics, like I've, uh, by the way, who, those of you that recommend it, uh, or run the jewels, I, on my last walk, which was an hour and a half, hour and 45 minute walk, I looped uh, one of their albums like three times. It almost made it to the third time going through so I've been listening to their lyrics and they're very much uh, rapid hip-hop right they reminded me of quantum and black alicious if you guys have ever listened to black alicious I used to listen to black alicious a lot and I uh, and I saw him live as well and his his delivery is very rhythmic beautiful right it's like biggie but faster and not as deep x how are you doing hope you're doing well especially with hip-hop a tribe called quest takes a few uh listens before you get it yeah my tribe called quest is amazing surely the ripper can't top the great antonio hey chicho how are you the three stooges how are you doing hope your life is well yeah i'm six foot three, 350 pounds 305 pounds nice man and muscle you look strong brother run the jewels are great have you heard their new song oh la la is that the uh no i think i was looping the 2007 album i forget what it's called uh felix i think they just put one out as well right i gotta i gotta listen to that i'm almost that big always be making sense i've always thought about getting into it but i just have other work to do yeah it's man reading uh andy kaufman's biography and andre giant's biography the graphic novels man andre giant brought me to tears really the guy was in major pain for a long period in his career towards the end when he was hitting the peak right he could barely do things but he would build up his energy and that's dedication right 
and he would stand and come and the time when he picked up um uh, hulk hogan above his oh, oh no hulk hogan picked up andre the giant right and uh, andre the giant picked up hulk hogan too he was in major pain doing that stuff and he did it as an art form right amazing right yuck 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 haha <laughs> surely not do you play an instrument or a sing chicho i used to play the drums right and i stopped seriously considering playing drums when i tried to learn uh tom sawyer by rush and i realized i couldn't do the drum solo i just couldn't do it i wasn't fast enough i learned how to play the police uh one of the first songs i ever learned how to play was wrapped around your fingers and youtube was uh sunday bloody sunday that was amazing youtube sunday bloody sunday on the drums one of the greatest songs to play on the drums so rhythmic and an important song let's make a formula to solve the one to 100 puzzle let's well we're doing a 10 by 10 puzzle two days from now i'm psyched for it and we're going to do the quadrant method really uh we'll hit it up unless people want to switch it up but i have the quadrants already marked out so i think we should try the quadrant method uh for a bit and then uh try the open open uh grid chicho have you seen the hbo documentary on andre the giant it's fantastic um if it's recent no if it's older one i've seen i've seen at least one documentary on andre the giant and one on uh, the canadian wrestler uh rowdy uh, rowdy R ron rowdy piper oh rowdy ron piper um the guy who was in i believe he was the guy the main actor in they live which is an amazing dark movie right i would never discourage anyone from following their dreams and passion but i feel like it would be hardest today uh, than ever before because of how the entertainment aspect uh has overtaken the sport aspect yeah the ripper uh, the golden age of wrestling what would you say the golden age of wrestling was to me the golden age of wrestling would have been the late 80s or mid 80s all the way to early 90s would you consider that to be the period which really put wrestling on the map i like it tom sawyer fantastic song i remember the game of go lately underst understood now i am not aware or able to play it yet it is like a big riddle to me that's great yeah no uh fiat ne fiat i still have to play a game uh i still have to uh, learn go and play it it's really intriguing me really intriguing me i feel like i might uh, uh like being a manager or something like this smack talk part yeah the talking talking crap part amazing amazing right the very uh sort of the other side of hip-hop right the battles ba, 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 they live ha, ha. the ripper the ripper i was a drummer also i had a 1964 rogers drum set that i actually had to sell to purchase my first pair of pro wrestling boots it's like you say with comics sometimes you have to sell some personal stock in order to gain new yeah yeah and i i used to have a milestone drum set the they were bc company and uh, it was fiberglass drums and there was a jazz set it was amazing it was is it's a collectible now like if i didn't have to sell it i wouldn't have sold it but i was moving and stuff and i had to sell it and it was it was money right and that's uh, some of the things i learned through uh, the economics aspect of things like I put up my whole drum set when I sold it in one lot to sell for like fifteen hundred dollars or something right and no one took it I was like no way I'm letting this go for anything cheaper so I sold it in parts so I sold it in parts and you know got like thirty five hundred dollars when in a chunk I was trying to get fifteen hundred so I made hundred and fifty percent or whatever more by selling it in parts right which is a business model right vagabond maximum hey chicho hope you're been well i've been doing good vagabond doing very well 
Rowdy, Rowdy, Roddy Piper. Yeah, I like them. I watch NJPW and other Japanese promotion promotions because of the focus on the matches. The Japanese took pro wrestling and just took it to the top. I would say before television, but that's not my opinion. I'm a Shibata man. Shibata, Shibata. I don't know what Shibata is. This fight was huge. Chinese chess. Yeah, go. Uh, anyone remembers the Undertaker? Yeah, Undertaker for sure. <laughs> With his eye makeup and stuff, dressed in black, very quiet sometimes. Tons of progress on uh, my Warhammer miniatures uh, during this quarantine about the most complex game I can manage really uh, and really the Warhammer stuff is the one of the most complex games you can uh, you can manage it could be some of those board games are incredibly intricate I've never played Warhammer I don't think so I don't remember anyway I know uh, the you know squad leader the Avalon Hill games board games I used to play those are some of the most intricate games I've ever played like a game would take us two days we'd sleep have a sleep break for like three hours and wake up at like six o'clock in the morning eating breakfast and playing and then continue until you know we start off on a saturday morning end it on a sunday night amazing 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 that is an art form that is being lost to a certain degree with the younger generation because that's when i got into it in high school these intricate war complex strategy games which are incredibly important for the development of the mind to think about possibilities like people have asked me what's the best way to teach mathematics to youth board games period board games right like i have a lot of students and i've had a lot of students over the years that are video gamers right they play video games okay and one way i teach them mathematics is i i ask him i go okay you know what's mathematics i give him my spiel and stuff like this and i go okay you play video games you play video games i go which video games do you play they go if they play shooter games and stuff i go i ask him what's your kd ratio right kill to death ratio and they say oh it's this or this or this right and i go what does that mean and most of my students that play video games that and if you play video games you have stats stats is one of the most important parts of a video game whatever game you play right so if you're trying to teach mathematics if you're a teacher parent educator whatever right and if you're someone that is a gamer that is not good at mathematics here's a question to you what does your kd ratio mean right think about it what does your kd ratio mean right? most of my students they don't really get an appreciation for it oh if it's below one you know this this and i go okay if you have a kd ratio of 0.75 right i'm gonna go off in a little round sorry about the chat right let's say your kd ratio is this oops let me write it a little cleaner right let's say your kd ratio kd or they write it like this more like a kd ratio is 0 0.93 right 0 0.93 what does that mean what does this align mean right I, seriously i ask my students if you want to teach mathematics if you're a parent educator parent you know sibling that doesn't want to learn math or you don't want to learn math straight up question what does this line mean what does this line mean don't give them this yet right if you're trying to teach them the kd ratio is sort of written like this or they write it like this i don't know if they do it like this that would be horrendous if they do right but let's say they do it like that you ask them what that line means a lot of students don't know and they say it's division and they go what right blow them away okay i'm gonna read uh, uh just the stuff that's pointed towards me sorry gang uh, because i want to get caught up with chat uh the ripper absolutely 1987 to 89 had the highest uh, buy rates in pay-per-view history really 1998 to 2000 was the next golden age uh, courtesy of stone cold steve austin the rock more money overall was made in 19 uh in 98 to 2000 
time but the more mainstream age was hogan andre piper macho man okay okay cool i'm glad i saw parts of it anyway right i apologize for swearing from uh swerving for from math uh, brother the river uh it's all good it's open discussion and i'm seriously i'm just making myself available for anyone that may need math help i can definitely do lessons but i'd rather not i want to do the lessons through shooting the videos and editing the videos because that way i can make it more coherent make sure i'm not i don't have any gaps in there because i type take that stuff and put it all together to create modules right or will be doing that these ones are just think of them if you're if you ever attend university or whatnot they're basically uh tutoring sessions or drop in you know drop in times that you can go ask the prof or the teacher's assistant for questions for help that's what i consider this to be if there's no one dropping in to do any mathematics we talk about whatever and as soon as someone comes in to talk about mathematics we do math we drop it in and for me in the back of my mind i got math in the back of my mind right i try i'm trying to plant seeds and you can't teach math in one session you're planting seeds right uh, to learn the language to learn mathematics it needs to be it needs to be nurtured it needs to, you need to grow it right and once it starts rooting and the leaves start growing and you you nurture it you give it you give it food and water and stuff like this one once it reaches that level it starts having a growth spurt you it just maintains itself right i'm in the planting seed phase right just make myself available that's it right people that need help they can take advantage of it uh if they can find me right uh, derated to wrestling and punk <laughs> the wrestling and punk seriously fantastic conversations those games are still made people still play them the avalon hill games for sure but not as many always be making i can't see it as being as many as when i was growing up when i was playing them in the 1980s in the 1980s we had an amazing group uh, especially diplomacy really i brought in a whole bunch of people from my friends to play diplomacy man i had some friends that were in the cadets that i brought in to play diplomacy and some other people it got hot right it was it was super cool maybe i'm just not around it right but i don't see my students playing board games too much what does two plus two maximum of three 30 minute in warning that's math elder god for sure ripper you punk i'm gonna put you in the camel chicho brilliant way of explaining mathematics to a young gamer love it yeah ripper really this gets their attention and i say and i tell my students that play video games a lot and they don't know what their kd ratio means as soon as i explain to them i go okay so what does 0.93 mean and they go well it's ab above one and I, I, go, I go okay okay what's the best kd ratio for the game you're playing and everyone plays a different game and some people say oh it's 2.3 some people say it's four point something some people say it's 1.5 or something like this right i go what does that mean they go well they do more kills than they die i go okay what does this number represent what does that mean what does that mean and i keep on pushing pa, 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 pa. i'm pretty brutal sometimes with my students right i once i get them you gotta rile them up right it's it's uh, to educate properly you gotta it's not just facts you gotta make them care right so i try to get them to a level where they care that means the doors are open for them to absorb the information right to suck it in right so what i do i go well let me tell you what this means this means you know convert this to a fraction what's 0.93 is a fraction right and they go if they say oh it's 93 over 100 i go perfect if they don't if they say oh uh, uh, i don't know i go i look at him i go what, what do you mean you don't know how to convert this to and you're a gamer like how could you not know and i you know poke 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 and i say this means 93 over 100 this means the d k over d this is your death this is your kill you died 100 times as you killed 93 people you suck you're not above one right 
And then all of a sudden, they go, what? And then from here, I'm giving you the, the tricks of Chicho, right? And then from here, really, from here, I do gigantic jump, right? I take them to graphs, right? And depending on where they are, if they've done this before, whatever it is, I, I lay it on them and then I go, okay, that's one version of graph. And then you can do this time, right? Here's your KD ratio. I go, I explain to them because one of the reasons I'm doing these streams is to teach them how to teach mathematics, right? One of the things you could, you'll see with my videos, math videos, I'm sort of not just teaching mathematics but teaching how to teach mathematics because that's what i've learned how to teach myself how to teach mathematics right from here i go okay one of the things you do with this is you put it over time because that's your x-axis for many graphs that you do and this is your kd ratio right so i say how long you've been playing a video game some people say a year eight months two years or something like this I go how long do you think you're going to play this game they go oh i don't know the five years is a great game so i go okay here's time zero here's time five. Oh, you've been playing it let's break this down to five one two three four five and i say oh you've been playing for one year right and your kd ratio what's the maximum kd ratio that the professionals have they go oh, i don't know like three right so i go okay maybe There'll be some better ones too. Maybe let's make it four, right? So I go zero to four, and then we we'll break this down. I say, oh, you're getting 0.93. So one year you're here. I go, when you started, you, were, you weren't that good, were you? Your KD ratio was lower than this, wasn't it? They go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, and they start laughing. I go, oh, okay. So it would have been like here, like you're brutal, brutal, learning, learning. And then you improve. Well, here's what functions are. Let's just stick with a line, and then you can just do an estimation. But you can't just go up like this. Over time, maybe you do this. Oh, this is a function. What's the point of a function? The point of a function is to make predictions. Bah, 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 bah. And I do all of that in a matter of 15 minutes as soon as I explain this, right? Give them the big picture. And then from here, you kick it back into here and they say, oh, what's this as a percentage? <laughs> Play with them, right? Rile them up feed them information if they're a gamer they can process info fast they need to see the big picture lay it on them right lay it on them i'm going down man uh what kind of, what field of mathematics is most important to the study of artificial intelligence <sighs> waltz what field of mathematics always be making um not always be making but always be making for sure mask of raymond what field of mathematics would be most important to uh, study artificial intelligence? Good question, great question. I'm not 100% sure. So Chicho, after playing chess for a long period, I decided to try Go. At that point, I realized if chess is a game of kings, then Go is the game of gods. Tactics could give you a big push in chess at lower levels, but Go is pretty strategy. And the fact that there is no set starting position and the size of the board gives the ability to have multiple battlefields and worry about them uh, connecting from the first move is just overwhelming. This game makes me feel stupid. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. At some point, I'm gonna play it, right? El Mirio, how are you doing, Chicho? Uh, what do you think the younger generation needs to do in order to save nature and the planet? stop consuming corporate crap really if you like something make sure it's not being generated from multinational corporations go to independent graders go to local places that sell things consume locally do collective things uh, cooperate with your community maybe online or within within you within your physical vicinity right that's what i would say and don't invest in Wall Street. Pull out of Wall Street. Get if 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 you've inherited money in Wall Street, and this is not financial advice. This is this is personal advice. This is uh, really <laughs> don't hold me to this because the stock market could go really high up, and you pull that money out of there because in the long run, Wall Street is destroying everything. 
right? Oh yeah, Elder God politics politics streams game. My apologies, I, it comes up. I go to I get a little hot. Concepts. Uh, da, 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 da. I love the idea of taking the concepts that have existed forever and applying it in a way that uh, they can relate to instead of teaching it the way it was taught 2030. Yeah, Chicho, I think you may not be paying attention. Over 400 war games have been published in 2020 alone. People are playing. Certain study students of mine would play if introduced. Always be making, they would play but i don't see the younger generation playing right that's what i'm seeing from my experience i i have some students that play monopoly and stuff but nothing on a, I, I've, i haven't heard a student of mine say that they're playing anything compa comparable to squad leader for 15 years for at least 10 years right the games might be being made but it's an older generation that's playing it yes you suck you're not above one <laughs> this needs to be a t-shirt <laughs> the ripper <laughs> yes i thoroughly been making math problems that relate to subjects that student love will help them understand uh and like math yeah what is two plus two maximum of four <laughs> My kill to death ratio on Call of Duty is 20 to 4, really? 5. Elder God, you're straight up 5. You're off the you're off the off the scale. You're over here, man. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Catholic tradition of this uh, to relate a civil point about about go to mathematics, the average branching factor of chess. Is about 25 while the average branching factor of go is about 250 very complex game an order of magnitude more Man, i gotta get into that game but what if you have zero deaths then what happens you you destroy the universe right you can't divide by zero you're over the top you're infinite here's what happens if you have zero deaths right you get an asymptote right you can't divide by zero right so here for example let's say you have five over 0 0.1 actually let's put it over one first right five over one you get five right five over 0 0.1 you get 50 five over 0 0.01 you get 500 five over 0 0.001 you get 5000 right as you approach zero in the denominator this thing goes to infinity which basically means it's the biggest number you can think of right so what does that mean that means you need to kick up your difficulty level on your game because you can't explode the universe that doesn't make sense you don't want to be a god in a game being a god in a game is boring you want to be challenged kick up the difficulty level or find some new people to some new places to raid right average all oh, average branching factor of chess is 35 still an order of magnitude so the best kd ratio would be undefined meaning you die at zero times yeah right. and if that's that's happening you're playing the wrong game right can't be a ratio if there's no deaths to compare oh well said mask of raven i should definitely use that but it can't oh wait a second can uh, i guess so yeah but it still could be a ratio because the metric is still there Def definitely probability and linear algebra and everything else this is regarding uh, ai so the best best probability yeah uh, linear algebra as well, eh? Put sounds very tight. So, best branch of mathematics to be in if you're doing, looking into artificial intelligence is probability and linear algebra. Probability, I can see, but why linear algebra, mask of the Raven? I guess it's uh, pointers going in different places, right? Is that why? Is the most important what do you do if you're a god gamer 
and have a KD of 100 or zero. You're, you're playing the wrong game. If you're not, that means you're not even being challenged. If you got a KD ratio of 100 to zero, right? Linear algebra, multivariant calculus, probability, all important in the study of AI. Thank you, Craft of Traditionalist and Mask of Raven for sure. So linear algebra, multivariate calculus, probability. Why linear algebra? Is it because the pointers? If there are no deaths, you can't have a kill to death ratio. Mask of Raven. <laughs> Just the death to kill ratio. Just the death to kill ratio. Yeah, you can flip it around, right? So KD, KD, let's say it's 100 to zero, right? But that doesn't make sense death decay is would be zero over a hundred so this would be zero this would be infinite this one doesn't make sense right. it's likely a matter of discovery video games have uh have kind of eaten board games lunch that is true yeah for sure always be making chicho 24 kd means he is hacking is he i don't know i don't know elder god uh, he's he's good we got some pics of on discord of his power <laughs> i don't have i snipe my targets from the bushes yes nice he's a cow camper don't encourage that you joe elder god is is good at games man we've seen one he's within a matter of a couple of weeks he became like all the way up there linear so linear algebra always make a linear algebra is helpful for computer science because of the concept of information retrieval and pointing to different addresses so that's the reason linear algebra yeah cool the idea of vectors gets very abstract uh, from just arrows okay okay so that's the case so linear algebra so we're talking about matrices and determinants and stuff like this play a huge role in that right what's the probability you won't die in a game um depends i used to have uh, dark justice uh during the arcade days when i grew up arcades were you know first console games in the 80s arcades 90s as well but 80s mainly but we used to have friends that could put a quarter into a machine and play for hours upon hours right they were that good at it the glitch is real makes sense Ch -ch -ch. matrices are incredibly important in deep learning cool i like that question Ch -ch -ch. dark justice what's the probability you won't die in a game what's the probability you won't die in a game depends on the game really many machine learning systems are built heavily using vector and matrices cool the allure of video games is too strong i played D and and magic and then uh chrono tiger came out can't I couldn't care less about tabletop games for a long time really i don't know chrono tiger this is the first time i'm hearing it i i don't think i've ever had any students that play chrono tiger I bet you could use matrices to describe logic gates and circuit diagrams. We all need to fly together when FS2020 is released. I'm not sure what FS2020 is. Oh, by the way, gang, let me show you my snack for today. I went a little, I, I had to go shopping yesterday. And there's lineups everywhere, right? Oh, flight similar lineups everywhere, right? So I went to the bakery first because we're out of bread so i need to get bread so it was a lineup outside the bakery it was a really long lineup actually it took a while to get in when i got in i bought four loaves of bread cut them up put two of them in the freezer or three of them in the freezer and one you eat slowly right but it took me a while to go in so let me show you what i got <laughs> lemon meringue pie it's crazy delicious look at the top of this thing it's got marzipan little things and lemon meringue super yummy super yummy super good lemon meringue pie look at this thing whoa look at that very good very good super delicious and it just goes 
in the mouth, right? Donkey Kong had a pattern and you could easily fly through. Donkey Kong is a game I could never master. I like Centipede. Centipede was the game, so good. All right. The Ripper, I'm going to go make dinner. Okay, thank you very much for welcoming me. Thank you for the chat, for being the fun and friendly. You'll see me back for sure. Much love, much love, Ripper. And good luck in the arena. Hope you kick some ass. We've all seen King of Kong. Yeah, King of Kong. Most important part of the uh, table table talk gaming to me is the people you're doing it with, which isn't the case with video games as much. Yeah, the board game, like really, if you have an amazing board gaming group, cherish it, cherish it. Hopefully it lasts you forever, but the odds are it won't. The odds are it won't look at this this deliciousness <laughs> this deliciousness oh my god look at this guy look at this look at this look at that oh losing it very good yum Chicho, you have access to the best pies in the world. The dragons are lucked out. I came across a bakery that is fantastic, and the owner is amazing. The people that work there are amazing, and they make really good stuff. What is the chance of being born? Flex your math. Message. What is the chance of being born? What is the chance of being born? How would we even measure that? So pie charts in this video, pie charts in this video. I took what percent that I take, I don't know. We've eaten half the pie since yesterday. Catfish and Brussels sprouts tonight, nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother, nice. Catfish and Brussels sprouts this thing's addictive again i hope you guys have good munchies really we all deserve treats all right look at this guy little marzipan flake hanging in there Depends on the probability space. That's the best answer, actually. So, what's the what's the chance of being born? And Mask of Raymond says depends on the probability space we're considering. That'll be hundred percent gone in my house. That would be hundred percent gone in one day. <laughs> Mind you, I got it. When did I get it? No, I got it in the early afternoon. So it was delicious. Is delicious um so chance of being born how would you like what what's the yeah we can't we can't calculate that it looks like it's impossible where where are we coming from right are we yeah it doesn't make sense here check this out if you think about it here so let's take one philosophy oops geez. let's take one philosophy right let's take reincarnation for example right so let's assume i haven't really thought about this too much i'm just going with the flow right let's assume you believe in reincarnation so everybody that is here right now is has been here before right and would that be true if it's happening if we start out with this data set uh 14 billion years ago at the start of the universe with uh, an infinite timeline to the future oh my i got the run guy dragons have a good time thanks for the combo topics my pleasure and everybody else's pleasure great conversations by the way <laughs> so here on, on a simplistic level let's do a simplistic level there are more people being born now 
then there are dying right because the population world population is increasing right so if there are more people here uh, here's dead death and here is born right if you believe in reincarnation if you just take this moment in time then this doesn't add up because if the population is increasing there has to be another data set here that is feeding the born community right unless we can take it back and say it's all the deaths combined that are feeding the born but the origin had to be somewhere what is that origin right? what is this origin i don't know i don't i don't even know if we could quantify it i think that's the that's the kicker right like hence unknowns theories uh religions faith on that scale i don't think anyone could say yeah like it, it would be impossible it is cool that technically there is a number between zero and one representing that though if you define it well so let's check this out silver 14 billion years ago at the start of the universe with an infinite timeline of the future then it would be one if you're an entity that exists before you are born because that's what it would have to be if it's not then it it's just chemical reaction right so and it is chemical reaction to a certain degree but if if it's just a happenstance then it's because it's in forever it's an infinite right infinite timeline to the future infinite time the, the problematic their term is time because time is linked up with matter so until matter disappears well the universe is supposed to be expanding forever right so it's gonna fizzle out then that means hard to say very difficult I'm trying to narrow it down but I can't but my 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 guess would be a hundred percent the probability of you being born is a hundred percent if you take it to the limit Right? because at some point you'll be born if not on this planet and some other planet isn't the 2.1 kids per family to stop population growth the big chill the big chill yeah the universe expanding the big chill right I think that's what it's called is it 2.1 uh, it could be 2.0 anything greater than 2 so 2.0000001 right that's still population growth so so it's still galaxies baked up and no living planets are available so there is a there is a couple of hundred million years gap more like billions billions i'm terrible at math i don't know everyone's got certain math abilities you'd be surprised how many people i've met that say they're terrible at math and after a few sessions they're like oh wait a second this isn't that hard as for see here's the kicker our understanding of life is carbon-based life forms right now but according to science and theories there could be silicon based life forms right there could be energy based life forms so maybe you'd be an energy being or a silicon based being right do we need the, do we need sunlight to have life mm. there are creatures in deep ocean that don't get any sun but they get heat from the uh, the the ridges the oceanic ridges with the parting with or hot spots with heat coming out with minerals coming up so there's that as well when i was in third grade my teacher embarrassed me uh, in front of class and gave me trauma sunlight nope just water thermal vents thermal vents thank you very much you're pretty good at scientific terms man you should be i'm pretty sure you're good at math right and bad on the teacher for uh embarrassing someone in third grade okay 
We need energy for life, yeah. Uh, as far as we know. But if there's zero point energy, right? There is the concept of zero point energy. That means you can extract uh, a lot of energy from a cubic feet or a cubic meter of empty space. So if there is zero point energy, uh, we have energy everywhere, right? This turned into amateur biological speculation. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking. <laughs> But it's a legit topic, right? It's a legit topic. Sometimes you have to explore the possibilities. <laughs> fun. Oh, fun. An hour of chit chat. Why not? Why not? Why not? We can we can think about the possibilities, right? And that's sometimes that's what's needed. And they make good crust. This meringue is like seriously. Mm -hmm. Topology. So Smith, you ask, what branch of mathematics interests you most that you know little about? Topology. And uh, code um, security right uh, but topology is I think connected to security um, secure communications and stuff like this cryptography yeah cryptography as well cryptography is secure communication really uh, code code breaking oh topology is like I said, I know very little about it, but basically topology is mapping out, uh, doing mathematics through shapes. I mean, Mask of Raymond, uh, Catholic traditionalists would know more about this, but basically it's taking shapes and the mathematics, taking an object and then rotating it in within itself and bringing it out and creating something new. And there's a whole bunch of different things that happen in the real world through topology which is it just I, I haven't been able to wrap my head around to tell you the truth like it just intrigues me uh, a lot but I haven't had the time to go into it my mouth is not powerful enough there are two worms and shrimp uh, that live around thermal vents that would otherwise seem to present an environmental environment incredibly hostile to life yeah Catholic truth and it's incredible really uh, so wait as far as I know the timeline of existence must be infinite uh, like it's starting at a random point wouldn't be logical uh, not necessarily no it's infinite is a concept that we have right just because infinite is an unknown for us is a limit so consider infinite to be a limit of understanding right what is past the infinite what happens when we can resolve the infinite right so infinite is not an absolute infinite is very abstract it's only infinite because maybe our understanding of the system is limited right smith <laughs> wearing a mask thanks it's the shirt <laughs> plan makes everybody nifty right. that isn't true we observed an expanding universe so it's logical to presume that there is some point it is expanding from yeah I'll always be making yeah iron mage my nana keeps sending me pictures of her baking she made a lemon meringue pie the other day being stuck in uh student accommodation sucks yeah i can imagine and man lemon meringue lemon meringue pie done right is amazing you're missing out first thing you do when you when you go back home and tell your nana to make you another lemon meringue pie i hate to do this to you but it's got to be done <laughs> it's got to be done <laughs> mm. 
We're definitely going to finish the pie today. They're called ex extreme mophile. Those creatures living in extreme environments. Extreme mophiles, really? That's cool. So there's nothing infinite in reality. For, for our understanding, yeah, there are infinites. Like, we don't know, right? But, like, really, this, this concept that you're trying to understand has made mathematicians go mad, right? And is a branch of science and mathematics and physics that is constantly being developed. And uh, people are exploring this, right? People dedicate their lives to it. What is beyond what we see? what we can measure, what we can interact with, right? Like, we can only, according to the laws of physics that we know, we, we can only account for 5% of the mass of the universe. The other 80% is supposed to be dark energy, and the other, and uh, whatever it is, 15% or 20% of that is supposed to be, if it's, you know, 70%, 75, go this way or that way, is dark matter. It's dark, and dark energy and dark matter, because... We can't measure it we can't interact with it we don't know what it is and that's the limit of our understanding of the universe so whenever you see any scientist to come out and says absolutes about everything they're lying really the beauty of science is supposed to be full of questions not answers that is true science true science is questions not answers okay can we estimate how old the universe by looking at the cosmic background yeah for sure the universe is 14.6 billion years old as far as we've been able to look at the cosmic background because the cosmic background if you look into it it's uh, got a cooling thing and you can you can map it out right you can measure it but that's from this iteration this universal iteration right as far as we know what came before the big bang what came before that that point right that too there's stuff in reality that we've mask of raven there's stuff in reality that we've called infinite and re reasonably can be seen as such kind of a philosophical question yeah we know it's around 14 billion years yeah i'm glad that there are people enjoying pie <laughs> nice awesome mate and sorry sorry iron mage to put it in front of the camera stuff but i gotta share right Chicho, stop. That looks so good. Yeah, Elder God. It's so delicious. Uh, pie, this uh, lemon meringue pie, the the litmus test, the test that tells you that lemon meringue pie that you're eating is fantastic when you put it in your mouth and the meringue just goes, right? And then mixes in with the lemon tart, really good, and the crust gives it a little crunch. This is it. I'll be, I'll be getting more of that. Like with uh, Zeno's Paradox. Hmm, I don't know Zeno's Paradox. Every time something moves from point A to B, it undergoes a type of infinite process where it goes half the distance and then a quarter and then an eighth. Oh, is that what's called Zeno's Paradox? I wish I knew that was what, what is called Zeno's Paradox. If you do a search for Chicho Planck, Planck Constant, I did a little video where I went basically what Master Raymond is talking about a or b let's assume you're going to travel from a to b halfway every time right half the distance every time so you go half the distance half the distance half the distance half the distance like you will never get to b if you only travel half the distance right however according to the physics we know there's something called a plank length right and the plank length says everything's quantum uh it comes to you as uh, quanta as data sets and it can't be anything smaller than Planck's length the distance is really small I can't remember what it is anymore right but uh, and how do you spell Planck I think you spell it like this is that how you spell it Planck length oh I gotta look this up now or someone will post it I'm I hope right uh, so I should take that off I'm not so sure if that's how you spell it <laughs> Plank, is it? Oh, it is too. Did I do it right? Oh, there's a C. I'm missing a C. Plank. Thank you, Smith. Plank. Plank length, right? 
So Planck Link says, let's assume it's this, this distance here, from here to here, right? But it's really small, it's times 10 to the negative something, I don't know what it is, right? Let's assume it's this distance. So this distance would be really, really small here, right? It's smaller than an atom, smaller than an atom. So just imagine if you're going half the distance every time, you break an atom in half, right? You get to an atom away from point B, right? So let's assume this is point B, right? Here's point B. Here's the size of an atom, right? And the size of an atom will be huge compared to the Planck length, right? So let's assume you break this atom in half and you keep on getting closer and closer and closer. You get to here. Actually, let's say you get to here, right? This is you. You're trying to get to B. Boop. You can't go halfway anymore. You can only go to there because that's the smallest the distance can ever get. What's beyond that? Right? What's beyond that? It, and does this mean we're in a simulation? Is this the pixels you see on a screen? Is that what it is? What is that? It's super cool. Super cool. Really. What's beyond that? I solved it, did you? <laughs> All universe, billion light years radius. Did you look into that before? Doop. No, I didn't look. I just know because I did geophysics. I know it's 14.6 billion years or something like this. Uh, I'm just scrolling up just to see if there's anything directed towards it. Okay. okay, so I'm going to scroll. I'm scrolling all the way down. Okay. And let me find a link to that video. Uh, hopefully I named it the right thing. Mm. Did I even call it that? Oh, come on. Let's go to DuckDuckGo. Come on, DuckDuckGo. Let's see if you can find it. There it is, Duck Duck Go saves the day. Nice, Duck Duck Go knows where it's at, and I called it uh, uh, my two infinities going halfway, tra traveling from A to B until reaching the Planck link. Right. So let me give you the link to this in chat, just in case. I mean, it's the same thing that I just talked about here, more coherent. If you imagine the Planck length as a pixel in the simulation, could you say that the Planck second is the frame rate? Planck second is the frame rate. Could be. Could be. That's a, I've never thought about it actually, but that would that could be. Right. Always making. Once I get my uh, projects in order, I'll probably share some of it. Oh, what is this? I missed the discussion math discussion probably oh how could you how could you differentiate if the space it self is space itself expanding or the object is just traveling away um, if the space itself is expanding or the object is traveling away relative to what there is the redshift effect in space where if objects are traveling away from you, then their light that you see, the wavelength is longer. If they're traveling closer to you, it's zoomed in. Oh, <laughs> I'm always making, took it out. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of business, always be making. Appreciate it. We're pinning everyone's project to the folder, so we can each uh, we can see each other's uh, work in progress. Awesome. Yeah, but wouldn't you get the, that redshift both ways? No. In relation to you, is the floor spreading wider or the object going further? We're moving, but the floor is not spreading, right? Because we're linked in within the same vicinity. I'm not just. There's no space between me and the floor in terms of space gravity. We're, we're under the same uh, gravitational force, right? Catholic traditionalist, Prasilov's book, Intuitive Topology, presents topology in a way that is intended to be relatively, really, I gotta highlight this. 
Catholic traditionalist, thank you. I love the concept of just the whatever I've seen with topology, it just really intrigues me, mainly because of the visual aspect of it, right? It's just trying to visualize how you can take a sphere and fold it in on itself without making any pinches and just bringing it out again, right? It's like, what? What leg of table is most important to keep it upright? <laughs> Mask of Raven. It's like the matter of discovery. Video games have kind of eaten board games. Lunch. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. Chat kicked me all the way up, gang. I'm scrolling all the way down. Now we're getting trolls in here. Always be making your own. Your own. The troll kill thing nice the math we did today was very weak <laughs> actually no the the possibilities the the algebra we did today was weak but the possibilities were strong right exploring the possibilities of infinity and stuff the cookies and six million oh is that what it is that's a silly what Oh, is that what it is? Weak, weak, boring, 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 boring. Weak, weak, weak. Those people need to watch a little bit of Sesame Street to get a little intelligent discussion going on. And Sesame Street, the early days were amazing, by the way right so we'll tell the difference because it's not one object receding from us it's all objects outside of our local group so this is related to the redshift right so i'm going to read this we tell the uh, difference because it's not one object receding from us it's all objects outside of our local group the probability that billions um, billions of galaxies in all directions would be receding at similar rates based on distances suggests state space itself is expanding if it were a lesser amount we could argue it was simply objects moving within space-time itself right so basically the name of the game is this let's say we're here right here's our earth right if we look outside of here, majority of the dots that we see, correct me if I'm wrong, they're not stars, they're galaxies, right? So we see a lot of dots. Well, we won't see down here, but let's assume we see it down here. And there's only a handful of these things that if we look at it, uh, look at these things have a blue shift in terms of their spectrum the light spectrum which means they're moving towards us okay they're moving towards us so their light wave is compressed majority of these guys are moving away from us so we're not on the center of the universe right we're on the center of the observable universe that we see because light travels the same speed in all directions, right? But if all of these things are moving away from us, it's not just the explosion happened here, everything's moving away and these guys are anomalies moving towards us. It's because the whole space is expanding, right? Uh, so it always be making, I didn't get it either. Like seriously, I did not get it either. Like to me, that kind of joke is so the word we can't use on twitch <laughs> it's, it's like trying to communicate with with the word we can't use on twitch so once you're not on that level where you're basically a you know you can't communicate to a bug then you won't understand what a bug's life is and to me those those types of people are just bugs they're viruses really right i you know i don't take pleasure communicating by viruses you 
kill viruses, you destroy viruses, you stay away from viruses, right? So, uh, yeah, no need to apologize, brother. I didn't get it either. It just, it doesn't register with me, right? Some, some jokes and racist jokes and stuff, they go way past me because I, I just don't process information that way. <laughs> just to me, and once I understand what certain people are saying and the way they're saying it, to me, I look at them as it, I just get blown away. It baffles me. It's like, oh my God, your mind, like you actually think that way like this is your existence and then i feel really sad for them like it's sad it's depressing right then no that's gross iron mage iron mage what did iron mage say yeah i didn't know either man it didn't like really it just doesn't register with me right I've met some people like that in my life, in real life. Uh, things worked out in certain ways. Your chat bar keeps clearing. Sorry for not being here. I'm still around. Spider-Man, it's all good. Yeah, I'll always be making it. It's okay. I think most dots we see from Earth are stars in our galaxy. Are they liquid swords? oh uh, yeah i guess so because i'm thinking about the hubble telescope pictures and stuff like this right we see these beautiful oh it's just like heaven right uh so is it is it stars most because if we're in the milky way galaxy right so in certain directions it would be stars but in certain other directions i think it would be galaxies right because if we're in a milky way galaxy I used to know this by the way like I used to know this but I forgot right so let's assume this is the Milky Way galaxy here's the center we're supposed to be on the outer ring somewhere let's assume we're here right here's earth here's us and because if we look at the sideways then the Milky Way galaxy well let's do this and it looks like this right so if we're here if we look towards in the horizontal plane it would be stars but if we look that way it would be more galaxies no i forgot all this stuff i can't believe i forgot it i love this stuff closest star is bigger it was a hypothetical oh i didn't know i'm gonna skip that iron mage i didn't get it either man what is the possibility that pi is an expression of the plank length mm, i don't think so people are ridiculous i'm still around guys yeah <laughs> people are stupid there are stupid people many stupid people out there really that are just cannon fodder really when the time comes they're just cannon fodder which is why they need to learn math right if we could zoom in between the stars we see we get the Hubble pictures. If we zoom in between the stars we see, we see the Hubble. Okay, so most of the dots that we see at nighttime are stars, not galaxies, and not clusters of galaxies and stuff like this. The jokes are called dog whistlers because it's meant to only be recognized by people that know. I'm very big into politics, and so these types of people constantly come into the space I hang out and try to troll us. Oh, really, Iron Mage? Okay. we haven't had too many of these people here we haven't had because they're the word we can't use on twitch <laughs> for into the naked eye uh, with hubble then sure it's uh, mostly galaxies okay so naked eye it's stars that we see cool thank you for that liquid swords i'm stupid and i i'm trying to learn math but mentally uh, scar kicks in yeah you know what you got to break through that uh, sick raids raids uh, you have to break through the scars we're all we all have trauma we grew up in the society we all have trauma related to different things in our lives for me my trauma was English like really when I grew up in I hate I hated learning English and then I realized I need to know how to read and write properly so I taught myself it took me a long time 
I was lucky enough to live next to an observatory as a kid and got to go there as a kid with the brownies. Uh, some of the stars you see are actually galaxies. So they are actually some galaxies too. Cool. I don't like that kind of language. We all have stories to share and that. What is the word we cannot say on Twitch? It starts with an R. Ends with a D. <laughs> Rhymes with... I don't know. Rhymes with Picard. <laughs> Picard. I should say lines with Picard. <laughs> Does it? Picard. Rhymes with Picard. I didn't know that. I used the word a few times where people, the moms were like, Chicho, you can't say that here. I'm like, what? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Why not? And then they explained to me why. Proof pi with geometry. Pi with geometry? Sure. <laughs> this guy's not doing a good job. <laughs> this is better, I think. Pi. Pi with geometry. Here, let's do a circle. Yeah, raids, by the way, we do, the mods and me just got burned by B card people that were here that <laughs> are dumb as a doorknob. So I think we're a little hair trigger right now. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, check this out. Here's a circle. I'll put my center here now. Here's a radius of a circle, right? R. Okay, here's U. Right? Let's say the radius is one. R is equal to one. One meter, one kilometer, one feet, right? If you travel from here to here, halfway around, right? you've gone the equivalent of pi the distance from here to here right? so think about it this way circumference of a circle which is a full distance is equal to 2 pi r so if you go half the circle that means you're dividing the circumference by 2 so half the circle let's call this the distance from there to there is going to be c over 2, right? 2 kills 2. So half the circle, which is half the circle, half circle is equal to pi times r, right? So what pi is, no matter what size of a circle you have, let's assume the circle here is 10 radius, then the distance from here to here is 10 pi let's say that's 20 then it's 20 pi so the circumference of the circle as well as the area of a the circle they're all related to pi which is really the ratio of because you can think about it this way circumference of circle is 2 pi r so pi is really equal to the circumference of a circle divided by 2 r Is that okay? Uh, can you give a graphical representation of the whiteboard of a Mandelbot zoom? With one, I don't think I can do that, Pac-Man. 100 million iterations. Pi equals delicious, two pi equals love. <laughs> Jesus, man. That's funny. That's funny. Because putting yourself down is never the right answer. I want you to be proud. No, always be making. It's okay if people feel down about themselves. 
I'm not putting myself down. I'm describing myself, which is okay. Learning is fun. Elder God, how you doing? Oh, you got the devil going on. I'm scrolling down, guys. Oh, hold on. El Amirio, Chicho, would you consider yourself to be a good math? Uh, be, be good at math naturally? Or are you someone who just worked a lot with math and became good at it through hard work more than through talent? Hard work, without a doubt, hard work. Like, really, it's just straight up hard work. Oh, I didn't grow up in I, I've been around people who who have a natural math uh, ability right they're just natural at it right uh, for me that took hard work uh, um, I was happy to put the hard work in there it's been extremely useful in my life Let's say the R slur here and most disabled people would prefer if people wouldn't say it, say it. See, here's the kicker, Iron May. I don't relate that word to to disabled people. It just doesn't register with me. It's not, like words have changed meaning over time. Like, to me, it doesn't mean that, All right? But we'll abide by the rules. Uh, if you are 2D being and a 3D being visits you, and you want to tell him about what you mean with pi in his 3d term would you compare it to the surface of a sphere over the radius yeah to a certain degree for sure you could but a 3d being would understand a 2d being a 2d being would have a hard time understanding a 3d being right like for us we have a hard time imagining a four-dimensional four space uh, dimensional world right the only way we can relate to a four dimensional sp four space dimensional world is by looking at the shadow of a four dimensional space right so for example take a look like a two dimensional being trying to relate to a three dimensional being we could only really imagine what a three dimensional being was relative to his shadow right so for example if this is you standing there and the sun is shining from here this would be you know brutally drawing things so this would be your shadow right <laughs> here's a head these blurry you know something like this right now this looks like that because this is i'm drawing stick figures but this would have depth and form and hair and all this jazz right but this one wouldn't so if a two-dimensional being was on the ground right if it was a shadow here then he would only look at this person in terms of what he sees he understands he wouldn't understand that there's three dimensions all around him. i don't think i did a good job explaining that but that's basically it so for us to look at a four-dimensional object we have to look at a shadow and try to extrapolate that out so a higher level dimension can always understand a lower level dimension but a lower level dimension will have a hard time understanding a higher level dimension okay. always be making i disagree with your comment learning learning is serious business i disagree i 100 percent it can be serious business but it doesn't need to be serious business when we play board games you learn through games and having fun so i don't think learning is necessarily serious business i think it can be serious business but it doesn't necessarily have to be right raids now nah, learning is fun learning is fun i agree for the most part for me learning is amazing right i don't consider learning to be serious i like strawberry rhubarb pie and <laughs> strawberry rhubarb pie learning is always more fun when you don't have stuff like exam hanging over you i agree iron mage what is the most interesting math problem that you know of the most interesting math problem i, I wouldn't say the, uh, the problems that i know of are interesting math problems i would say the, the stuff that i think about are more physics math problems but i know one math problem that really intrigued uh, has intrigued one of my students specifically was the 
finding the related to an ice cube, right? And you want to find the length of the diagonal on the ice cube. And the reason you want to find the length of the diagonal on the ice cube is because you have an ice cube vending machine and you want to make sure. So here's your ice cube vending machine. You know, ice comes out of here, right? All the ice is here, I guess, right? All the ice cubes. And you want to make the opening here big enough to make sure all the ice cubes fall through. So the longest length of an ice cube would be the diagonal of the thing, right? Then you have to make the opening as big as the diagonal. And then you find out what the length is here, what the length is here, and what the length is here. And you have to calculate the diagonal. I think this question is, is good because it relates to trigonometry, relates to real world math problems, right? So if a person comes here, push their bucket here, right? They want to get ice out. They make sure that all the ice cubes can come out. If you don't make this big enough, ice cube is going to get jammed, right? My Nana is naturally good at math. When her job at the bank first got uh, calculators, she could beat them every time in terms of speed. Nice iron mage. Pi is a concept. We don't even necessarily need dimensions uh, for it. We don't need dimensions for it. Pi is a concept. Is that true, Mask of Raven? Is that the way we can think about it? Pi is a concept. Never thought about it that way. There are perfectly valid usages of that word that are not at all intended as a uh, personal slur. I agree with Catholic traditionalists. There are valid uses of that word. Like literally, you could, you could use that word to mean that someone has not been given information that their knowledge has been suppressed so they don't know but we can't use that word which is itself that word right a 2d being wouldn't even be able to comprehend what a circle is right on you know 2d no because a circle is two-dimensional because it would require depth a circle doesn't sphere does all that being would see is just straight lines um i think you're thinking about a one-dimensional being which is which is a legit uh what do you call it misconception one dimensional check this out a circle by definition is two dimensions right because it's got this direction and that direction however this is a one-dimensional being as a line if there's a one-dimensional being here yes they wouldn't know because all they would do is just travel along the line or the radius of the circle or the circumference of the circle but if they could also go this way then yeah they could see the depth of that right i was being somewhat uh, uh facetious i was being making it. yeah Curve shift. That's why most restaurants uh, don't use cubes or rectangular ice cubes, but curved shapes. Really? There's a good video uh, on dimensions on YouTube called How to Imagine the Nth Dimension, and it explains it with a balloon uh, only being viewed ab able in slices, like with a MRI scan. Oh, okay, cool. There's an interesting book called uh, Flatland. Yeah, there's a video. There's a movie called Flatland. It was fantastic animated video that was published in 1884 by Edwin Abbott. The book explores some of the aspects of the existing in a 2 2D universe. Is that the? Is that the? <laughs> Elmino, you're loving that problem. I hope it's this one or the cube one you like. Uh, a Catholic traditionist. Is that the book that the animated movie was based on? Flatland that word i think also means delay or to slow down liquid source 100 percent. that's what it also means right so but we can't use that word censorship is brutal hello chicho frozen sandstorm how are you doing how often do i stream i'm streaming for the next six days 
uh, and I announce my streams a couple of days beforehand so after six days I usually take about three four days break because I you know have students I have to deal with I need to upload videos sometimes I edit videos sometimes I shoot videos sometimes I need I got a lot of other work that I need to do and I usually take anywhere between three three to six days break and then I announce the next set of streams which are anywhere between three usually up to ten I've announced so I stream on a regular basis if you go to my patreon page I I do announce the streams there oh yeah here's my patreon page Boop. right so I do announce the streams there I do announce them on discord if you go to our discord there's a schedule folder so I do announce the stuff there as well okay if we consider pi to be the relation between all the points that have the same distance from a single point in a dimension it would mean there is no there is there is more pies their relation to the distance it means there are more pies you could always make different uh, more pies no because it's a ratio of the circumference of a circle relative to its radius so let's assume this is the center right let's make another circle here the radius decreases this is r2 and here's r1 right but so does the circumference right so this ratio here divided by that is going to be the same as this divided by that so the ratio stays constant which is related to pi right 2 pi is a period of the complex exponential function the whole mask of radium i gotta read this 2 pi to the power of i is the period of a complex exponential function which does manifest as circles sometimes but doesn't uh, explicit explicitly require any geometry that i think is a good definition of the number pi not requiring geometry i don't know that definition so let me write this down i've never actually seen that mask of raven 2 pi to the power of i so 2 pi to the power of why am i writing pi <laughs> 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi to the power of i and i is square root of negative 1 that mask of raven i've never yeah that make the square root so it appears better and let me read that again is the period of the complex exponential function which does manifest as circles sometimes but doesn't explicitly require any geometry really any liqueur updates coming on your youtube i we just did one uh like three weeks ago or something so frozen sandstorm probably at the beginning of summer when the fruit is coming out we'll be making more i hit up the liqueur cabinet pretty hard during our dj live stream six and a half hour dj live stream so i need to top some things up <laughs> Uh, Catholic traditionalist Chicho, I have not seen the animated film, so I cannot comment on the quality of the ad adaptation. That being said, the film is indeed based on Abbott's classic work. Awesome! Catholic traditionalist, watch it. It's a really good film. I really liked it. It really, like, the character development, like the emotional attachment you have to a circle and a cube are phenomenal like that is amazing writing when you see an animated video movie where the main character main characters are circles and dots and squares and you have more emotional attachment to them than you do most of hollywood movies coming out right <laughs> like that's amazing writing and that's cool that it's related to that elder god is it possible to put a option in your stream to reduce video quality mm, i don't know elder god uh, you know what i'm streaming uh, on obs i remember when i first started streaming i had a highest quality and it was lagging so i kicked it down to a level where it's 
it, this is what it is, right? So if I kick it down, I think what happens from my side, it kicks it down for everyone. So you would have to uh, do it from your end, Elder God. Ch Chicho, I meant if you go 3D and say, then the ratio changes if you change dimensions. The ratio wouldn't change. If you had a circle, right? Here's your R, and then this became a sphere. The ratio for the spheres wouldn't change. I think if, if that's what you mean. Phew, good thing you drew lines on that double circle with dot on the middle. <laughs> right, this is funny. I understand how the word it can be used, but the layman's understanding of it is an is a slur. So most people won't understand what you actually and here's the kicker, Iron Mage. Why are we shooting for the layman for the lowest common denominator? That's the problem with our centralized education system is shooting everything down so that the dialogue is reduced down to the most simplistic form. We need to elevate people, not shoot for the lowest common denominator. So I disagree with the censorship. I disagree that uh, because the layman might not understand what it is, we can't bring them into the light and explain to them that these words have multiple meanings, right? So I totally disagree with the censorship aspect of it. I really do, okay? Is two pi oh it's two pi times i oh you had a multiplication not a power my bad thank you mask of raven incorrect this is what it is two pi i which is two pi squared of negative one multiplied kicks it to the complex level i can do another write-up uh, and post it laugh out loud usually something requires that every stream <laughs> yeah, i know mask of raymond if you want to do it brother for sure i think we'd appreciate it. there's no option on our end to lower the video quality at least on mobile so you can't do it okay rick was right schools are not good for smart people schools are not good for anyone just imagine if everything our centralized education system if everything is being shh brought down to the lowest common denominator right then people who want to discuss more complex subjects than that can't do it because they're always being weighed down and people here that you want to elevate can't because that's the boundary you've set it, all in all horrendous for everyone for our societies why do you think we're having such hard times right now in the world right allow that for some reason circumference got blocked oh uh, what's this we got another dingling here i'm banning oh no that one's like, oh i got kicked down all the way down okay i'm going all the way down uh if we say pi is equal to all the points in the same distance from a point to that distance in a 2d dimension that would be circumference radius at 3d the same definition would mean the whole surface of the sphere over the radius yes i believe so the finished model of schooling uh iron mage i've i've read a little bit about it the scandinavian models of uh educate education and finland is actually way ahead of the game. I looked at one short documentary, it was about 15 minutes or so, of how the education system was set up in Finland. And it was brilliant, it was good. And one of the things that was very important was because teachers were on the same equivalent salary as doctors, and as they should be, really, okay? There's certain things that you cannot, based on our current economic system, try to get reduced to a level to financialize it to make it the best deal possible because at some point you're going to get crap right so i i know a little bit about it i don't know the intricacies of it because i looked into that a long time ago iron mage uh, but i really liked it i really liked it 
So the Finnish school of uh, Finnish model of schooling, Finland's model of schooling, right? Hong Kong and Singapore has good education systems too, if I recall right. Uh, raids, um, there are problems with uh, education system in Hong Kong, not because I've looked at the Hong Kong education system, but because I've had students that have been educated in Hong Kong that I've been tutoring. So there's gaps in there. What's the definition of life? creation yes if i click on that there's only one option set toys oh you're right i don't know it's my bad the nitty-gritty of schooling in finland has some similar issues does it yeah i didn't know i looked into a long time ago and i decided that i couldn't i really didn't find any type of education system around the world that i looked at which was geared towards the way I wanted to teach mathematics so hence doing what I'm doing right if I didn't see it I'm creating it <laughs> that's my model we're up to two hours gang let's call the stream interesting stream interesting stream 100% nothing is robust enough for me yeah I'll always be making out with you there isn't anything out there that is robust enough for me uh, either uh, by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs um, I didn't really I caught some stuff coming up but I was in discussions and stuff so I apologize if I didn't thank you guys already but thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the support um, I'm on patreon if you want to follow this work okay uh, if you want to support this project patreon is a fantastic way to support this project you can just follow and get the updates as to what we're posting what we're sharing we are live streaming this on twitch if you want to follow these live streams as they're happening twitch is where you want to be at subscribing following through twitch is also a fantastic way to support this project i'm active on twitter gabs mines vk and no hello all the links will be in the description of this boop, uh, video i have to approve uh, uh, Catholic traditionalism message. Have a great rest of folks. Pax Have an awesome day, everyone. Okay, and I will be uploading these streams on YouTube and BitChute, uh, the mass streams for sure, and um, whatever allowing. Well, we're gonna bypass some of the sensor stuff. There's a couple of streams we're gonna do later this week that won't be loaded on YouTube. They're related to COVID. Okay, they'll be on BitChute okay technical difficulties aside and uh, even though we're coming out of lockdown uh, it's a good idea to be aware of what's taking place okay be kind to people be safe uh, understand that no matter what centralized power tells you is happening question everything question everything okay Iron Mage. I was lucky enough to go to a specialist school as part of a study on mainstream schooling. It was based in a democratic uh, democratic model, with students having as much power as teachers in organizing in classes organized by ability in English. In English, classes of ten students each. It was fantastic, awesome Iron Mage, and I would agree with ten students max. You you can't really educate learn to efficiently when you have 30 kids in class it's impossible even 10 is pushing it as far as I'm concerned but 10 would be the maximum and it's got to be a very tight-knit group for it to reach 10 okay I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday and if you can make it tomorrow we do current events Tuesday we do the 10 by 10 puzzle Wednesday we do personal finance and economics Thursday open discussion on COVID Friday part two of an open discussion on COVID okay bye everyone thank you for the conversations thank you for the support mods thank you for taking care of business okay bye everyone